I'm here with uh, Tony Vodicek. He is um, a pro hydrofoiler, one of the youngest riders on the on the tour. Um, he's pretty much a veteran um, because he has been around from day one in foiling, and he's done a lot of um, events recently. Um, your first time here in San Francisco, Tony? Yeah, this is my um, yeah yeah. This is my first time here. I like the conditions, the strong wind. I, we don't get much of this at home. So came to train, hope to do the best I can, get the best results I can. Um, so yeah, we're sitting here, I mean, looking at the water right there and, and the winds and there's so much going on here. Um, it's, I've been here four times and every time I come here, it's like, you feel like almost you have to relearn everything you know. Um, what is the biggest challenge for you racing here in the Bay also against, you know, top guys like Johnny Heineken, um, who's you know one of the fastest guys in the world? Um, what, what's different to race here in San Francisco than to all the other places you've seen already? Well, the, the biggest difference is here in San Francisco. We get a lot of the wind changes. We get the strong currents that I never had uh, experienced before. So that's a difference. And like you said, like we have to learn from the start again because it's never the same. The conditions are changing by the by the time, by the minute, so we gotta learn, hmm. be do a fast learner. Yeah, do you think it's, um, it helps you to improve certain skills? I mean, we, we all know you like to go and ride super powered, you're one of the guys that always holds the biggest kites, so is that something that you did here as well, or would, do you rather go on like a bit smaller kite and trying to go a bit faster? Um, and, and change your, your game plan to, to your normal racing that you do in Europe and the other events you've done? Well, for sure if the wind's gonna pick up uh, just too much for the 15, but like today we had a strong race around uh, the island and like was too much for the 15 power, super powered, but like you said, I like to hold it, go big or go home, so yeah, go big. Go home. Don't go home. Stay here. <laughs> go home later. Yeah. First, go big. Yeah. Cool. Congratulations. You got. We've got it here. Tony just got the fifth place um, in the Bay Challenge race, which is like a one-hour race, um, all the way downwind, starting at the bridge, downwind to Berkeley, and coming all the way back up. So Tony was in a photo finish almost with Nico Landauer and then all the top guys before, so that's great achievement, congratulations. Um, the long distance stuff, is that something you, you enjoy as much as the course racing or is it just... Well, I like this because we had the, the second upwind and uh, I'm doing much better on the upwind uh, for the, the moment than on the downwind and I was able to catch up with the better guys because on the downwind I lost a lot and yeah, I'm really happy for the... Li I like this competition it's uh, strong. It really, uh, it really shows how much, how strong you are, how much you can hold. Like it's the the normal event, the competitions, the short races, are you hold 15, 20 minutes. That's it. But here you had to hold for 50, 15 minutes, not 15, and it was much harder. The fingers hurt, the legs hurt, and it was wow. <laughs> but go fast. Good stuff. Cool, so what's next? We got the first ever Foiling World Championships coming up. Um, I'm sure you, you, you're going to be in China um, in a few weeks. What are your, your goals in China? What's your approach? How are you going into this? I mean, you've had a lot of preparation, lots of regattas this year already. So do you feel fit and strong to go in there, mentally repaired? What's, what's prepared? What's your, what's your game plan? Well, my game, game plan is there's gonna be some light wind as much as I've heard, I've never been there before. So it's gonna be more like at home, like I have at home light wind for the 18. So I hope I can do the best I can win the, for the youth uh, championships. But I know there's some uh, also really strong guys like Guy Bridge, Martin Dolan. Dolan's, uh, they're really strong, good. So I hope I can do the best and beat some of them. Nice, well done. Well, all the best, Tony. Thanks for coming to San Francisco, it's always great to have you, um, especially the juniors, you know, it's, it's amazing to see how you guys progress and, 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 and handle these crazy conditions. Is there anybody you would like to thank? I know you came with your family, this time everybody is here, 
you know, we saw your mom in Mexico and some other events. Your dad is here, but you brought somebody else this time. Of course, this time my little sister is also here with us. She's right over there, <laughs> smiling. Awesome. And I'm really happy. To, I'm really happy to have her here supporting me. So yeah, and I want to thank the Levitas guys for providing me with the best foils and the boards for the groove. They're really good. Thanks, guys. Happy days. Thanks, Happy. Tony.